On the night of July 29, there was a drone attack on Kursk and Belgorod regions of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of strikes by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, explosions and fires occurred in electric substations in both provinces. No casualties are reported. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that there were drone attacks on Kursk, Belgorod, Bryansk, Voronezh and Leningrad regions, and that 39 drones belonging to the Ukrainian army were shot down over the country by means of air defense systems. Ukraine has avenged Russia's bombing of its territories. In an unprecedented operation carried out by the main intelligence directorate of the Defense Ministry, Ukraine struck three combat helicopters in Russia's Samara city and in Moscow region on July 24 and July 21 respectively. Two Russian Mi-28 and Ka-226 combat helicopters were struck on the night leading to July 21 in Tomolino settlement in Russia's Moscow region on the territory of National Helicopter Manufacturing Center Mill and Kamov Joint Stock Company, an aircraft manufacturing enterprise that specializes in the development, production and repair of helicopters. The helicopters were hit as a result of sabotage activities by the main intelligence directorate. The third Russian helicopter was struck on the territory of the Kryaz airfield in Samara on July 24. The targeted helicopter was a multi-purpose Mi-8. Kremlin has not commented on the attack on its helicopters yet. It should be noted that Russia has stepped up its large-scale attacks on Ukraine's civilian infrastructure in recent months. Mi-28 and Ka-226 helicopters are widely used in Russia's war of aggression in Ukraine that started in February 2022. While Russian propaganda broadcasts to the entire world that the Russian army is invincible, its soldiers say the opposite. According to Oboz Revitel media outlet, the ban on using gadgets during service in the military zone was perceived as a real betrayal by the Russian occupation forces. In this way, the Putin regime decided to shut the mouths of the liberators who talk too much about the real situation at the front. It is noted that in accordance with the adopted amendments to the law, the use of smartphones and tablets by occupiers will now be considered a gross disciplinary offence punishable by 10 days of arrest. Even at the stage of introducing amendments to the law, Z publics exploded with angry comments in which they told the deputies who were divorced from reality that the consequences of their decision would be deadly for the Russian army since modern warfare without gadgets is impossible. Do the people who prepared these amendments understand how modern military operations take place? Where are the maps? What controls the drones? How surveillance is carried out? And all that other stuff? Wrote Russian war correspondent Yaremchuk. If we remove all gadgets from the front for a few days, we will have no eyes, that is, no reconnaissance. We will have no visual control that commanders require to open fire, as well as that needed for adjustments. We will have no maps or navigation said another Z war correspondent, Alekine. The adopted amendments to the law, as the Russians admit, will also hit their own artillery. I won't reveal a secret by saying that today, 100% of our artillery fires using programs written specifically for smartphones and tablets, wrote Russian military analyst Shurigin. In addition, the work of UAV operators, snipers and reconnaissance personnel of the occupation forces, who cannot do without gadgets, will be paralyzed.
The radio communication is in a mess. The communication is shit. It's no wonder that the relevant officials were arrested this year. The occupier said, Obos Revitel says that every other Russian occupier writes that they have now been effectively ordered to die silently. And they really do have something to tell. Russian occupiers are constantly recording videos at the front where they talk about the crimes of the command. This is what the mobilized and contract soldiers of the 1st Motorized Rifle Regiment of Military Unit 31135 did. The Russians said that they have been at war in Ukraine since January 2023 without rotation or leave. They are not given uniforms or electronic warfare equipment in the second army in the world. There is a problem with medical care, as well as the required payments, including for combat. Meanwhile, the heavy losses of the Russian occupation forces have already led to the fact that wounded liberators are being sent back to the front lines instead of being treated.